So uh, when we are uh, specifying in our uh, profile that we involved in the payroll implementation or in payroll support, in the entry point of view, uh, they will expect, or even in the project point of view also, once we join in the project, where exactly we are supposed to work related for payroll and how we can become strong in the payroll model. Uh, it's not only the previous sessions, whatever we have learned, we are supposed to go through the documentation and understand. Obviously, if they ask us, like, can you tell me uh, what, what exactly you did in payroll or what are the topics you are strong in the payroll model? We have to explain that. So I involved in the payroll model for HCM Cloud in, in this uh, payroll implementation. End-to-end uh, -end we have involved right from the configuration of banks and also configuration of consolidation group as well as payment methods and also payroll definitions. Payroll definitions with the offset details, which is very important. We have five types of uh, dates. Payroll submission date, payroll earner date, cutoff date, payslip availability date, and the payroll uh, functionality, whatever we are passing, payroll planned submission date. This, this is all we, we are going to specify, cutoff date and all. And after, also we will be specifying the element classification and element setup both earning and deductions earning and deduction both the elements we are going to have it here earning elements deduction elements will be specified we will also go ahead with uh, element input values element uh, categories and elements eligibility profile will also setting up the elements like uh, earning basic elements bonus and loan elements while creating the element whatever the properties we have discussed which are very important what is recurring element what is non-recurring element what is prorated element what is retro pay element when we create an element what are the supporting elements will be created automatically what are the supporting elements there will be a three elements created right run results a distributor and calculator the moment when we create and also the due dates like uh, while creating an element we will have actual termination date last standard processing date and final close date these are three different uh, dates we are going to have uh, while creating an element we will specify uh, what type of options we are going to have here it is and after that we will we will be having general like uh, when you want to run the payroll for one employee what are the functionalities for quick pay and how will you run this quick pay and what are the input you will pass about if you want to run the payroll for multiple employees like object group if you want to run the payroll for standard means for all the employees standard processes standard process like uh, if you want to run the standard payroll flow so what is payroll flow generally it's a group of process and programs uh, which we will submit means reports and process we will submit in the sequence order that's going to be executed uh, and uh, where you will find the payroll high level like uh, executing uh, calculations and other options we'll find right that's so all the processes are important so when we are running the standard uh, payroll process, we will find that like uh, retro notification report, calculate payroll, prepayments, grass to net report, archive payroll results report, then check printing and payment process, EFT transfer and transfer to accounts, uh, GL2. This, this all, this all uh, process names and definitions are very important. They'll ask us like object group and important. How will you configure and where do you use this object group? Okay. How to roll back this? How will you uh, roll back this payroll? 
once you run the payroll. In case, let's say you are running the payroll for thousands of employees, uh, some of the employees payroll is not calculated properly. How will you handle it? So we will go for rollback for them and we'll create separate object group for them. And we will go for again, run the uh, and uh, run the payroll for those employees. Therefore, that will go for a standard, standard process. Okay. So this is uh, basically the payroll options, uh, especially the elements point. We are working with the payroll. Uh, it's very important elements. And, and uh, also while working with the payroll execution, different processes and different reports which we run in the sequence order and the purpose of that particular course. So let's say calculate payroll, what it will do. Prepayment, prepayment process, what it will do. Proration, retroactive note. In case if you want to do the retroactive, what is the standard process you will follow? Uh, how will you come to know that the proration element is enabled or not? Okay, so once we create elements, uh, how will you assign these elements to the employees? It will do it from person management. In case if you want to assign the bonus for uh, thousands of employees at a time by using the HDL, HDL will go for assign that element for the employees while passing this, we'll use the start date. Automatically, the moment when you assign the bonus, it will automatically go for attach to them. So this, this is how we are supposed to do so we, we cannot leave any one of the topic also because complete whatever we got trained, this is completely interview point of view as well as certification clearing point of view as well as the project point of view. Practically, we have discussed. Okay. And also, you can go through the documentation. As I said, uh, you will find the documentation for Oracle Payroll and a few we discussed, it's an US payroll. There will be a payroll for uh, different countries. Okay, so only payroll. Global HR, there will be a only one because we don't find different legislation wise, different global HR because it's an enterprise structure work structure. It's common for any country. But when it comes to the payroll, the payroll is different. Payroll is different, means employee salary uh, loss, employee workers loss, uh, uh, whatever the statutory rules are there, those are different from legislation to another legislation. In India, different rules and regulations for employees, US different, Singapore different. So that's why if any of the country payroll is not provided by Oracle here, then Oracle suggest go to global payroll. If you go to global payroll, you will find all the options. But if you are implementing for a particular client, for example, India, so far earlier it was not there. Recently, Oracle has introduced this uh, payroll India. So, and Kuwait, Mexico, Qatar, almost all the countries recently Oracle has provided. But still, if the client wants to go ahead with the global payroll, they can go for global. Well, the meaning of global payroll is it has got all the features, all the functionality. And according to the requirement, you can go for specify as per the requirements. So this is how you are supposed to prepare for, uh, you are supposed to prepare for an interview for the payroll models. Two roles uh, we will find, payroll manager and payroll administrator. These are the two roles we will find, payroll manager and payroll administrator, which will work for us uh, client here as per the requirements. That's how you are, you are supposed to prepare for the payroll. And as I said, going through the documentation and understand definitions and everything, which is very important. Okay, for the payroll uh, point, a few whatever we discussed, like uh, payment methods, organization payment method, personal payment method, third party payment method. What is payment method? It's a combination of payment type, currency, and payment source, nothing but a bank account. In case if the banks are already configured by the finance consultant, how will you check whether it's enabled for payroll or not? We'll go to bank account and we'll choose the legal entity. There will say checkbox payroll. We'll verify whether it's enabled or not. If not, we'll go for enable. While working with the banks, so at what level we will go for defend? Banks are higher level. It's for all legal entities. 
when it comes for the bank branches it's also same but when it comes for the bank account that will be defined for specific legal entity okay for specific legal entity it will be defined bank account bank account let's say you want to open some bank account so the bank people will ask you is it for individual or for any firm if it is for firm firm means indirectly company it's a legal entity that's a legal entity is mandatory within that business unit is optional as per the requirement it will be specified business unit is mandatory in case if you are implementing for finance okay if you are implementing for the financials that that's how we will go for specify the role model okay thank you